How are we doing today, guys? Sam over at Anglers. It's our big weekend coming up. It's going to be this weekend is our big sale, customer appreciation event. We look forward to seeing you folks. We're going to have all sorts of deals with just about everything in this store. So great time to stop by, stock up for your next season, or if you're still fishing in the fall, you can certainly come in and get those last ditch things to get ready for the fall season. Right behind me, I have a ton of combos I'm ringing up. Combos are all going to be 20% off. So lots of great deals for you, much, much more than that. But today we're here to talk about the fishing report. So starting out, what everybody's going to be wanting to do is the rockfish. Um, it's pretty cool. It's your typical fall patterns right now. You have a lot of options as far as fishing goes. Uh, there's still some spot left in the bay. So if you want to troll or sorry, a live line up by the structure, like the bridge pilings or the lighthouses, any sort of that shallow water structure, you can certainly do that as well. Um, live spot are going to start to fizzle out once that water temp gets below 65. Um, it's kind of hovering right at that from the past few days that I've been out, at least up our way. So we still have a few days left for the spot. We're still able to stock them here at the store if you don't have time to go out and catch them. Uh, really good options there. However, most folks are either going to be trolling or jigging right now, especially out towards the mouths of the rivers, whether you're in the northern bay, in the middle bay, or even in the southern bay, this is the time to be out there fishing those mouths of the rivers as we have the bait constantly coming in and out of the rivers. The fall bait that we see right now is little peanut bunkers. Right now they're a little bit smaller than they usually are this time of the year. They're about three to five inches. Typically, once they get to about five inches, they head out of the rivers out into the bay. So right now you constantly have these schools of bait that are moving in and out of the rivers, which is where the stripers are going to want to be. Some of the better areas, if you're fishing up north, the mouth of the Patapsco has been pretty good from what I hear. A lot of 20 to 25 inch fish. Move down a little bit, the mouth of the Chester out towards La Point area has still been productive. Um, the biggest area that I hear most folks going out towards is if you go all the way down to the mouth of Eastern Bay, um, also out there around Poplar Island. Stuff to target there, um, any sort of open water fish that you find on contour lines on the maps, anything from 20 to 35 feet of water has kind of been the sweet spot. If you want to push up shallow, the mornings, the evening times, casting lures, stuff like that, really good options. You can certainly troll out in some of that deeper water too, zigzagging those channel edges, uh, fishing your classic tandems and umbrella. I would add some weight to it now, start to try and work down towards a little bit deeper in the water column. I've been seeing a lot of fish sitting on the bottom, unless they're feeding on schooling fish and they're rising up. But more of those fish that aren't feeding are just kind of hanging around that bottom 20% of the water. So if you are going to be trolling, wouldn't be a bad idea to add some heavier weights to those. Perch fishing, guys, is going to start to fizzle out for your inshore, in the creeks, in the rivers, stuff like that. Perch aren't really going to go anywhere, though. They're still going to be on that hard bottom out there from 15 to 35 feet of water out in the main bay and rivers. Um, areas like that, you are going to need to stay away from the little perch pounders and spinner baits and move more towards either small jigging spoons like the GI jig, rain minnow and the half ounce, good option there. Sting silvers and a half ounce, jigging those vertically over that hard bottom. Or of course, dropping down a classic Chesapeake Sabiki rig, either jigging that or tipping that with some bait and waiting for a few bites. Still good options there. Um, crabbing, what I hear, is finally starting to really slow down some. Um, you are still having some success. You're looking more towards deeper water. I was out there the other day fishing, and I saw a lot of guys who were crabbing in about 15 to 18 feet of water. Seems to be better than your shallow water spot. So same sort of stuff. Once it gets cooler, I like to move towards more clams than chicken. Um, clams seem to do a little bit better in the cooler weather. I don't know if the scent gets out better or what, but it seems to work a little bit better. Some of the good rivers for that have still been the Severn and the Magathy, um, as well as some of those rivers over on the eastern shore up either in Eastern Bay or some of the rivers that come off of that. So good options there for crabbing, but uh, that just about fizzles out there. So we look forward to seeing you guys this weekend, big weekend for us. Hope to see all sorts of deals and raffles. So thanks for stopping by and have a good one.